Good morning, everybody. I just got off the phone with a group of Haitian American lawyers heading to the Del Rio, Texas border to help our brothers and sisters in need. We congratulate every single one of them. All Haitian American leaders, lawyers, associations who are calling for justice for Haitians. They are on the right side of history, make no mistake. And we are joining our voice to theirs to forcefully state that we stand in strong solidarity with the Haitian migrants. All Haitians, and quite frankly, most people around the globe, are still shocked by the images that are making headline news everywhere for the past three days. This massive show of force by US border patrol agents on horses, often with whips, chasing barefoot migrants, sometimes women with kids, has horrified people around the world. We are witnessing a brazen display of a lack of total humanity, and quite frankly, complete disregard for humanitarian asylum law. We understand that all sovereign nations have the right to secure their borders. Actually, they even have the obligation to do so. However, we are calling on the Biden administration to ensure that all Haitian nationals are treated with dignity and respect. As a matter of fact, it is our understanding that the rapid expulsion of our brothers and sisters is done using a suspicious law, one that has been long discredited by public health experts in America, but one that is now preventing the refugees from applying for political asylum or even obtaining minimal legal assistance. They are not getting a shot at the U.S. legal system. In fact, the risk to airlift these migrants back into harm's way is in total contrast with how the Afghans are being treated. As you all know, things have not been good in Haiti lately. We have been hit by earthquake, tropical depression, unprecedented political turmoil, chaos and violence that eventually culminated with the assassination of a president. As we speak, the country is in shambles. The security conditions in Haiti are getting worse every day. There's a total void of leadership on the part of the government, which has lost grip on certain neighborhoods. In the capital, gang lords are everywhere and dictating their laws. Forcing these refugees back to Haiti is definitely endangering their lives and those of their families. And while our brothers and sisters are being rounded up like cattle, Haitian American leaders are taking actions. We praised them earlier. We will continue to do so endlessly. Kudos to the Haitian American Lawyers Association, for example, whose initiative to provide legal assistance to the migrants is second to none. In Haiti, as we promised them, we will be their eyes, their ears, their arms, to provide with all necessary documentations that they will need to better plead the cases of the migrants. If not them, who will stand up and call for justice for Haitians, as our government is remaining so silent on the matter. Today, we Haitians are standing up because it's time to reformulate our relationship with the US. How? Through a new deal, one that will respect our sovereignty, our rights to autodetermination, our pride and dignity. President Biden, we definitely need to push the reset button on the us haiti relationship. It will be the right thing to do for our two countries, for the two million Haitian Americans living in America, obviously, but also for the 330 million Americans that you have the honor to serve. And we are not the only ones asking for a new era. On September 22nd, 2021, your own special envoy, Ambassador Daniel Foote, submitted his resignation as U.S. Special Envoy to Haiti, citing a deeply flawed U.S. policy towards my nation and also inhuman, counterproductive decision to send back thousands of Haitian refugees in the manner that we have all witnessed and condemned. I have met Ambassador Daniel Foote. We spoke for hours. I looked at him in the eyes. He came across as a genuine and sincere diplomat one who was willing to listen to Haitians before he makes his own judgment or before he tries to impose his vision or the interests of his country. I hope he will be heard by your administration 
Ambassador Daniel Foote will go down in Haiti's history books as a very courageous diplomat and when we respected Haiti and the Haitian people. The New Deal, Mr. President, is a must. It is a must because we need a new policy on the broader issue of migration. If not, things will even get worse down the road. We need a new policy on economic development. Policy that will end Haiti's dependence on foreign aid. We need to keep all Haitians in Haiti and work to make sure Haiti finds its way into economic prosperity and social justice. And finally, we need a policy on democracy to ensure that elections are truly free, fair, and reflect the will of the Haitian people and not the decision of certain nations, certain leaders, or interests outside of Haiti. Without these new policies, Mr. President, we run the danger of simply extending the policies of past administrations, which has led us to where we are today. But for these new policies to work, we need Haitian leaders to be held accountable. We need Haitian leaders to step up and do their part. We need Haitian American leaders to continue to do theirs. Haiti's future depends on it.